Hello, everybody. Laura back again. Hi, Chris. Thanks for coming. Hi, Susan. I'm not sure how the time tells me it's an hour before it is here. <laughs> um, hi, Chris. Well, I sent out my 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 uh, email with the link, and here I am once again. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Hi, cool gamer. Thanks for stopping by. Um, so for connecting with crochet, we're at the end of April. I have not gotten any word back from anything I've sent to Colleen. So I have sent her husband um, word and um, hopefully I'll hear back from him. I don't know how th things are going and what I can talk about yet. So that's all I can say. Just keep praying. Um... Hi, bring it every day, Kelly. And hi, Kay. Thanks for coming, both of you. So since I don't even know where mine is right now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> since I don't know what's going on with Colleen, Colleen, Colleen. Um, we'll just keep going with our Which Way Filet. Oh, I'm like, what in the world? It's my hook. Of course it is. So we'll just keep going with our Which Way Filet. So have fun with it. Come up with new ideas to use this simple, simple but cool looking stitch. Because it, it really looks cool when it goes opposite like that. See? This one's going up. That one's going down. This is going down the other direction. That one's going down the other direction. This one's going up. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, so anyway, it's coming along. I've been working on other things, trying to get, well, organized. Let's just put it that way. What did I just see? Oh, a pen in my bag. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> oh, I put it there. I already know that. Let's see here. Oh, no, no, no. Um, that's the end of the other string. Yarn, yarn. Yes, it's yarn. So we'll just keep going on this and I will try to get an answer. I would say at this point, we'll go to the middle of May because May starts tomorrow. And uh, I will try to get an answer on Colleen that I can tell you guys, tell you all. Of course, the next time I would be on again would be Tuesday. Okay, let's see. Whoops, I got a little behind here. Just a minute. Okie dokie. Praying for Colleen. Looks nice, Laura. Hi, Kay. Hi, bring it on. Um, I bring it, excuse me. I bring that gives me more time to do t-shirt idea with sock thread. Very good. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hello. Peter. How are you? Oh, no, I'm here. <laughs> right. Can you hear me okay? I didn't want to blast your eardrums this time. I can hear you just fine. Okay, great. And my, I set them up the same way my Bluetooth uh, thing used, so they're working better this time. <laughs> I still got to turn them down just a little bit, though. Mm -hmm. Well, I found them and I, I plugged them in so they'd be full charge. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, <laughs> I put him in and I found out that as I was putting him in, I had dropped it down to like 40 something and I couldn't hear anything. Oh no. I'm like, yep. no, no, no. <laughs> Turn it back up. <laughs> I'm always having issues with mine. <laughs> too high, too low. Too I so still don't I have just, the oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say I still don't have the capability of uh following chat, so <laughs> sorry about that. Right, right. <laughs> um Um, oh, I was just telling everybody, I don't know if you were watching or not, but because, uh, I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to do both on your phone at the same time. So um, I was just saying that uh, we're going to go <laughs> ahead. I'm going to go ahead and extend Which Way Filet until the middle of May, since I haven't okay. gotten any word from Colleen. So I don't I wonder if there's any way it. we could uh, send a card to the hospital she's in or something. That would be nice. Hi, Lynette. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I did one too many. <laughs> Seven, Are you working four. on your fillet blanket? Yeah, I couldn't find it. I finally found it. It was over behind me on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sounds like me. I'm just going to set you um, right here. Well, I have, I sent a text to her husband and hopefully I'll get an answer on what's going on so yeah I hope so hope she's doing okay <sighs> can I hurt my nose <clears throat> probably you hurt your nose no I think I have a cat hair in my nose oh, hi gotcha. Carl Ann <laughs> thanks hey. for coming I don't know what you're doing. Uh, my makeup, I was putting it back in the oh. bags. <laughs> my style is I just dump everything out and then like just kind of grab what I want. And then after I'm done, I hold out the stuff that I actually use and put the rest away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It works for me. It'd probably be chaos yep. to other people, but. <laughs> yep. It sounds like you're putting quarters in a a slot machine or a, oh, does it? <laughs> or, a or an old uh, uh, video game. I wish I was putting quarters in a slot machine. Might win something. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't That'd think be of nice. the right word. That's the only one that came to mind, and it took a few more minutes longer for video game machine to come up. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I know that sounds for coming. Hi, Maritza. I missed you popping hey, up. Three, four. So you had a pretty chill day. I'm freezing. I guess that would be a chill day. <laughs> oh, I just meant like peaceful. <laughs> I know what you meant. And I got mad at my cat because she's got a claw coming apart. And she was kneading me and I could feel it stabbing me through my pants. And then no. she manages to try to pull her foot off and the claws <laughs> caught in my sweater. Venus. <laughs> that sounds I like a mad. cat. I said, I said, you go over there, you leave the room, whichever. She says, I'm leaving. <laughs> right. No responsibility. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Here she comes again. Oh, no. Venus. I haven't yeah. got to see her cute oh, face joking. yet. <laughs> I was joking, Venus. Did she go back out the door? I think she did. She's like, Mom's talking. Mom's talking to herself again. <laughs> <laughs> That's an everyday occurrence here. <laughs> Here always too, talking to myself. <laughs> but I'm almost, I got to work on my rug a lot more yesterday. Okay, good. So, oh, annoyingly, they're out of this yarn at the store here. Uh -huh. um, they, they don't have much yarn. They just have some cotton and some red heart here. But I bought the two skeins they had of this cherry red. 
and I'm going to need one more. So I'm going to have to order it probably because <laughs> it takes them forever to get stuff in. But here is the rug. It's almost uh, the rose I put on today is going to make it halfway done. Wow. But that's where I'm at with it right now. Yeah. If that showed, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wish there was a way I could flip my camera around. Oh, but I suppose oh. not. Yeah, I don't think it works at StreamYard. I had to think about it. Yeah, that. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and also, uh, you were talking about the Which Way Filet thing. Right. I, pick, I picked up like six of these simple cotton. Yes. Just in a nice sky color. blue. Me too. It's so cheerful. But I'm gonna um I'm gonna try my hand at designing a which way fillet summer top um out of cotton. So uh since you said think outside of the box. <laughs> so that was me trying to think it outside the box. So we'll it we'll see. Have to be a blanket. It <laughs> exactly. Doesn't. You're right about that. So that's my going to be my attempt. I have no idea if it's going to turn out or not, but I'm going to give it the old college try. <laughs> <laughs> I wicked Gram granny. Thank you for coming. I had to say it right. Hey, Pam. All right. Let's see if I can set this phone up again without it falling. <laughs> I'll be happy when my computer gets here. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> but we Two, just got to do what we got to do. Three. Well, we're glad to have you back. And I know that goes <laughs> for you. more than just me. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. Very Keep happy. Posted. Oh, yes. Uh, Chris wants you to keep her posted on what you're trying to do with Witch Way Filet because she's trying to do one. I think it's Witch Way Filet for a lightweight. Uh, let's see if I can find it. That gives me time to do T-shirt idea with sock thread. Ooh. So I think she means the Witch Way Filet, if I'm not mistaken. That's awesome. She yeah, made a poncho good. pattern? She's the one that did the poncho. That's right. Yeah, that's cool. And DK, Yeah, I have no idea if it's going to turn out mine, but we'll see. And DK Jennifer did the little uh, fingerless gloves with the Witch Way. Oh, I so didn't see that. Two, those two shared their 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 pattern makes nice so they're each gonna have a set that's <laughs> really cool that i was taking <laughs> the, 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 the communication in the in the chat yeah oh yeah because you can wear the poncho with the uh fingerless gloves that's really cool exactly yep i like that all goes together hmm me. Wake up time. I know I'm doing it again, huh? <laughs> I'm slouching. I'm sitting wrong. I'm not in the camera the way square the way I mean to be. <laughs> well, at least you're in the camera more than I am. <laughs> I can't get it to... Ow. Mm. You have some pain today? Cold foot. Cold foot. <laughs> I can't move it. It's so stiff. It's because it's oh. cold. It's actually pretty, not warm. It's just like a brisk feeling today. Yeah. Well, we Here. were, I guess, a really nice warm morning. I don't know. I didn't get outside. But then the wind started and it's just made the house so cold to me. Drafty. <laughs> yes, because it is drafty. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, it's kind of cloudy here, but like ten o'clock. So hopefully, I won't freeze tonight in bed. <laughs> well, yeah, that wouldn't be much fun. <laughs> you? Oh, thanks, Chris. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you? Question mark. <laughs> she, 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 she wrote, "Wake up, wake up in time." <laughs> woke up in time and that's when I was like oh yeah I'm still yawning 
And she's like, yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> that is so out of character. I'm sorry, I took the wording right. Had the wording wrong. <laughs> It's still 93 here at 8.15 at night. Yeah, yeah, don't rub it. Wow. Who is that, Chris? Um, Wicked Granny, sorry. Oh, okay, where's she at? Post them on there. Where do you uh, live at, uh, Wicked yeah, Granny? Yeah, where are you living at? Sounds like Florida weather or something. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Hi, Samantha. Thanks for coming. Hey, Samantha. Ah, West Texas, yep. Oh, yeah, Texas is hot. Uh, Chad's brother and his family just moved to Texas like a few weeks ago. <laughs> they were in Georgia, too. Oh, okay. But they just moved. They were actually kind of moving around the same time we were moving to South Alaska. <laughs> Samantha wants to know what time it is where you are, Veronica. It is 5.16 p.m. Alaskan time. <laughs> yep, so it's still pretty early here. Be making dinner after I get off. Lynette says, mm, excuse me, <laughs> trying to eat and read. We are at 72 right now in Utah. Finally spring. Ooh, nice. Yes. Our, uh, our high up here today was only going to be 57, and it hit that a couple hours ago, I think. So. Yeah, but the wind makes it feel so much colder. The wind makes it feel so much colder, exactly. That's what gets in your bones. <laughs> uh, Wicked Granny says, bet they aren't missing the Georgia humidity. <clears throat> we don't have so much of that here. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I've, I've never been to Texas, but I hear that it's more of like a dry heat. Kind of like Alaska is more of a dry cold. Right. So it's a little bit easier to deal with usually. Although now that I'm in South Alaska, it's not like cold at all here, really. So you're having a good spring then. Oh, yeah. They say that it stays, um, the weather here stays pretty, I mean, it's like rainy, but like temperature wise, it stays pretty perfect. It never gets too hot or too cold is what they were saying. It just kind of stays even. Yeah. And I was like, well, that sounds great. <laughs> Not quite a tropical rainforest, but a temperate one, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the other kind. Oh, Venus, you're fine. <laughs> really made me mad. I find that her claw was pulling a big old long string out of my sweater. <laughs> right. Is that a sweater that you made? No, thank goodness. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, my gosh. It's that would make me so mad. Can imagine how it looks, you know. Woo! Oh, yeah, definitely a snag. Uh, Samantha says, what are you working on right now, Veronica? I am working on a rug. It is going to have a dragon on it. I'm going to embroider a dragon on it when it's done. But it's a rug for the front door. And it's two feet wide, and it's going to be three feet long. So it's about at 18 inches now, which I think is halfway. Mm. So I am excited. Mm -hmm. Like I said, though, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to try to order it. I'll try to order the third skin tonight so that hopefully it gets here by the time that I'm finishing up the second skein. Because I just started the second skein last night. Okay. I've been trying to do six rows a day, but yesterday I got 12 rows in, so I was happy about that. Samantha Each row says, is 90 stitches. <laughs> wow. Samantha says, yeah. what time does it get dark in Alaska? Um, in Kotzebue, it was different because of the, um, the way that it had the midnight sun and the darkness in the winter. So in Alaska, it was already staying light out until like probably 10 11 p.m because it's you know getting closer to summer there and then here it's pretty normal uh so probably around eight nine okay but that would make yeah. sense yeah yes yeah. okay yeah wicked granny says so you're an hour earlier than pacific time question mark yep alaska has its own time zone so it's alaskan standard time 
So even people, my friends in California are an hour different. Yep. Are you reading anything right now, Laura? You're a bookworm too, aren't you? I finished my last book. I haven't read another one yet. What did you read last? I read The Reef by Nora Roberts. Ooh, nice. I actually have a, I have a series. I think I packed it away in our stuff that's coming, but I have a Nora Roberts series I haven't gotten into yet. It's like three of them. I can't remember what it's called, so I don't even ask. <laughs> but they'll be here before too long. I'm reading um, a Stephen King short story book. Mm, okay. So I got started on that, and I'm using my brand new leather mark bookmark that I showed off on Friday, <laughs> which makes me happy. But yeah, I was reading. I read a little bit on it last night. I mostly worked on my road, but <laughs> trying to get back into the habit of reading a chapter or so a day. Yeah, Wicked Granny says I didn't know that about being early an hour earlier than Pacific. Lydia, yeah, that's says, interesting. Hi, Laura and Pixie Stitches. I miss seeing you, hon. How are things going for hey. you? Things are going good here. We're just getting used to it. Been here for a week now. Because we got here. Yeah, it's exactly a week because we got here last Sunday. Mm -hmm. And so far, I'm loving it. It's beautiful here. It's like uh, walking into a postcard. <laughs> I'll bet. Especially since I you feel me. very oh, blessed. The trees. Oh, the yes. Trees. I miss the trees so much because it was so barren. Yeah, it was so mm -hmm. barren up there. It was pretty, um, but it was yeah. Arctic and there weren't any trees. And I love trees. Wicked Granny says, love Stephen King. And everybody Me else is hiding each other. So I'm hey, trying to get caught up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. she, can't, she can't see the comments, so I have to read them to her if yeah, sorry about that, guys. So, I gotta then, find the other it'll, cord. It'll be a little bit longer before she gets her stuff and her computer yeah. and her stuff. So, I need to find the other cord for my tablet because um, since we changed phones, it's not the same cord anymore. And I'm not even sure if I do that if the tablet's going to be able to keep up with YouTube or not because it's a bit older of a model. But I am going to try that. And then, like I said, hopefully the computer will get here soon. So it'll be back to business as usual. <laughs> Wiki Granny says, I'm sure I've seen some of the scenery in Seta's videos and a few other folks. It is gorgeous. Yes, it is. There's also, um, let's see, I know Seta lives up here. There's Jan, the Alaskan crafter. Um seems like there's at least one or two more. I'm trying to remember their names. But, yeah. I know Seda for sure, and I know Jan, because she has it in her <laughs> uh, channel title, so that makes it really easy. I have this little acrylic blanket in my lap, and all of a sudden, I got too warm. <laughs> I started myself, and I thought it was Why is really that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was freezing <laughs> at the beginning, and now I'm too warm. Oh, except my hands are freezing and my feet are still freezing, but got kitty cuddles at least. <laughs> uh, she came and wanted some attention, but <laughs> yep, always, always. She wouldn't be Venus if she didn't come and want some attention, <laughs> right? So yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and let the which way fillet go to the middle of May. Um, I have yet to look at my calendar, which I can't find now. That's interesting. It was right there. I'll have to dig for my calendar now, and I will. <laughs> Hi, Willie, yeah. around with joy. Thanks for coming. I will uh, um, probably post it because uh, I need to. I need to get out and check on the. Uh, now I got cat hair sticking to everything. Uh, That's extra special Connect fiber. <laughs> you know it. Uh, post it out at, at uh, Connecting with Crochet on Facebook. And of course, I'll put it on my community tab. Right. I'll also try to mention it uh, Tuesday and next Sunday once I pick the date. So, 
that will be okay. that I'm going to call the end because I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah. I imagine she probably hasn't even been able to do anything the last oh, few weeks. I'm sure. I'm sure. Who the knitter? Thanks for coming. Hey. Hey, Laura and Pixie Stitch in chat. Been lurking most days. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I do that too. Uh, at a lot of lives, I'll just be kind of lurking because I'm like working on something. Bryn, that's right. I rem I just couldn't. Bryn just Michelle. Bryn Michelle. That just wasn't coming to me. Such a pretty name. I like the name Bryn. I like Gwen, too. I kind of had it in the back of my mind that if I ever have a little girl, which the ship is almost sold on that because I'm getting up older. <laughs> but if yes. I ever did have one, uh, in my list of like names that maybe I would use would be Gwendolyn mm -hmm. um, as her full name and then call her Gwen for short. I think that's pretty. Right. Hello, Pamela. Thank you for coming. I find hey, it Pamela. hard to crochet and type, says, says uh, Wicked Granny. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> yeah. you gotta lurk. Exactly. I agree. So I'm hoping tonight I'll be able to look up, uh, finally be able to look up that which way fillet so I can get started on that top. I don't know if I'll finish it in time with everybody else because I wasn't able to start it during moving, but yeah, I will at least get a good start on it. Yep. And whatever you get done, uh, send me a picture. I will like absolutely. I, I, I got to figure out what day is going to be the end, and then how many days later right. I need the pictures. You know, I'll give yeah, you that's true. I can still days. send you a progress but picture. But a few more days after the end to send me pictures because you know you got to get that that point, and if you're almost done, you're going to want to finish it before you take a picture. So I want yeah. to figure out the end date, then I'll tell you when the pictures are due by, and when I'll do the video, when I'll put the video out. Right. We're not having any more mishaps like March. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. So yeah, once I figure out the ending day, I'll let you know how many extra days you've got before I went to pictures, and then I'll let you know when the video will come out with your pictures in it. Sounds good. And it's always great if when you're sending me those emails with your pictures, it's always great if you let me know that, hey, this was my own personal idea i worked it up to make it right or uh, i used the pattern if, yeah if it's somebody else's pattern then i need to know that too so that we don't get in trouble yeah none exactly of us. <laughs> right we don't want any That's of us none of us trouble. get in trouble yeah <laughs> exactly uh yeah those are both uh canadian <laughs> My Precious Yarnery and Kim's Crochet and Knits. Those are both Kim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Chris, said the last that? Crochet. Oh. Chris said Alaskan crochets that I know of. And Wicked Granny said those are Canadian, not Alaskan. Yeah. Yeah, Chris those are charming. Canadian. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I hear noises out there too, Venus. Her ears just went. <laughs> <laughs> What's going yeah, we'll on? Our ears on. Yep. Little kitty ears turning to where the sounds are. <laughs> yep. Like little satellites. That's why I call her a bat. Because <laughs> watch her ears turn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's exactly. Bat cat. <laughs> da na 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 <laughs> Exactly. I do that to her a lot. I hold her ears. <laughs> <laughs> and call her bat cat. Hi, mm -hmm. Spring. Thank you for coming. Oh my goodness. Appreciate it. Hey, Spring. Um, yeah, it's okay, Chris. North equals colder. I understand. <laughs> yes, it North is. Colder than me. Yes. I guess North of anywhere, probably. <laughs> eh, yeah, listen, stitch up. Stop it. There we go. Oh, 
Almost done with another row. What's everybody in the uh, chat working on tonight? I would like to know. Howdy, howdy to everyone from Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. Howdy to you. That's something I was going to tell you uh, either last night, you, Veronica, or everybody. Mm -hmm. I can't remember when I had the thought. Uh, but I have a friend whose parents have a sheep farm. Ooh. And he brought back, although I haven't got it yet, he brought mm -hmm. back some fresh sheared wool for me. Oh, my God. Figure out how to work up and make as many videos as I possibly can out of it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's all kinds of content you can get out of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally fiber content. <laughs> exactly. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm like, I'm like. Have you ever tried ever... spinning? I have a drop spindle I wanted to learn how to spin with. Right. I was thinking about spring. Yeah, I would. Um... It's not the same as a wheel. I understand right. that, but two, three, four, five, six. I um I have to wait until it gets here because it's on the barge with like the rest of our stuff. But I did go ahead and order. I have been talking to different uh, spinners in the community, uh, right. spring as well, a lot of that, and saying that I wanted to get into it. So I got a drop spindle set off Amazon. It's really cute. Did I show that to you? I feel like I did. Yeah, you might have. I can't remember. Yeah, I'll have to show it on uh, on one of our streams. But um, it came with like a bunch of little uh, bits of wool roving. I think that's what you call it. <laughs> I don't know all the right. terminology yeah. yet. And it came with a nice, oh. just basic spindle and um, a tiny little instruction book. But I'm gonna actually, I have a watch list saved of Springs videos. I haven't that shows how to do it that far yet. And I yeah. got mine in like 2012. No, maybe not quite that far back. Right. Maybe like 15 then, somewhere in there. After it would have been after I started knitting, and then I got I got into the thought of, hey, I want to at least learn how to do drop spindle. Me so, too. Uh, I have my thumbs up. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Spring. Okay, let's see. She says, hubby just got home, I'm, so I'm going to go. Wanted to pop in and show some love. Drop spindle, for, drop spindle is fun. Yay. Then Lydia says, <laughs> I've been cleaning. I started after lunch. I'm still working on it a while. I've been cleaning to too. And then Spring said, I have my thumbs up. Do you? <laughs> no, she's reminding nice. everybody as she was leaving. Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Thanks for stopping by. So yeah, I mean, I, I've been I've been wanting to figure out how to do that for a while, and I just haven't just haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, I haven't I'm actually have, started it yet. Now I'm going to have to buy, you know, like <laughs> or make some some way to card the wool. Right. Yeah, you know? you're going to need the carders and. And, and, and I don't even know what all. So I might have to drop by and see what Spring and others can find, uh, can can inform me of what I need to right. do because I don't even know all the steps. Me neither yet. Yeah, I'm going to be watching Spring's videos for sure. And I think uh, Bridget, uh, Queen's Crafts by Bridget, she spins too. Mm -hmm. So she might have some videos up there. I'm not sure. Um, on the drop spindle part of it, but I'm going to check it out. And uh, yep. just going to playlist it up until I can figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> uh huh. That'll probably, my first time with it, well, it'll probably just be like some art yarn. <laughs> but oh, I know. Right, I art know, yarn. That's why I think that I've never <laughs> done anything because I know that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> exactly. But I do have that nice uh, Ashford weaving loom that Chad got me for Christmas. Right. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to, I'm probably just going to use all those little colors of bits of wool roving because I think all together it will probably be like scarf length, you know? 
Mm-hmm. And then I'm just yeah, okay. going to use the whole thing and make like a woven scarf on the loom. Like have some stronger yarn as the warping, you know, and yeah. then use my probably not strong at all hand woven <laughs> or hand twisted yeah, and go across be- with it. And I'll be like my special first yarn scarf or whatever. <laughs> Uh, Wicked Granny says, <laughs> I started a dishcloth with cotton, trying to get the Ooh. hand of using cotton. Yeah, it's a different uh, different animal. <laughs> careful, Miss Claus. Doing cotton. But once you get used to it, it's not bad. Ms. It's Claus. just not as, like, stretchy. Careful. I don't need you pulling threads <laughs> out of my blanket now, too. Uh I'm going to be getting a lot more cotton because I need to make some rugs for the bathroom too. <laughs> Once I finish this one. Oh yeah. With c- cotton would be great for that. Yeah. This one I don't mind cause it's going to be in like the living room. So acrylic's fine, but yeah, for the bathroom with all the water that right. gets you in there. I want the, to do cotton. You know how to do the loop stitch? <clears throat> it gives you the loop. The, oh yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. So you can yep. make loops in your and for your blanket. I mean your yeah blanket. yeah rug. Your rug. I know what you mean. Bathroom rug <laughs> I know what you mean. Blanket. I know how to do uh, on weaving as well. It's like called like a raya knot or something. Um, they used to do that a lot back in the seventies for all the pile rugs or shag rugs. Oh, okay, okay. But so I can do it on the loom as well. But yeah, I know that there's a a loop stitch and crochet as well. There's probably a loop stitch for pretty much any yarn craft. Yeah, because I've yeah. never seen the one for knitting too. <clears throat> yep. uh, Wicked Granny says, I'm looking forward to seeing your dragon rug. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I don't have any transfer stuff right now. So I'm just going to try to take like a thinnish piece of paper and sketch out a dragon. Like just right. simple lines of a dragon. And then I'm going to pin it to the rug. And then I'm going to try to stitch through the paper onto the rug. That way I can follow okay. the outline. Yep. And then when okay. I'm done with it, the idea is that I'll be able to rip off the rest of the paper once I'm done stitching it on. And then right. I'm hoping that works. I've kind of done something similar to that with sewing before. Uh, like with my sewing machine, so I'm hoping yeah. that will work. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a, that quilting method where you use the paper. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's how I was like, hmm. Oh, no, I had a friend who made one that way, and she loved it. Right. So that's the only way she would quilt. It does make it a lot easier uh, with the paper. Keeps the fabric under it nice and stable, where it doesn't get like pulled up into the foot or anything too right makes really nice even stitches if you get it uh tension just right on your sewing machine lydia says pixie what kind of knitting loom do you have oh it's not um it's not a knitting loom it's actually a weaving yeah it's a weaving loom (laughs) uh funnily enough it's called the knitter's loom but it's not knitting it's it's for people that want to use bigger yarns so okay. if you've ever used a weaving loom before, a lot of them are set up to have like a very small uh, yarn or thread to be passed and through. the. Thread, yes. Yeah, yeah, they call it like, I have a rigid heddle loom. So they call that the heddle or the dent. And that's what has all the little holes and slots in it. Right. And uh, you can actually use the one I have if you get, uh, you can get a bunch of different heddles for different sizes of yarn. But um, it comes with one that is big enough to put worsted weight or DK weight in. And that's why they call it the knitter's loom. So I can use all my yarns that I have for other stuff on my loom as well. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that idea. Me too. I was like, well, that's perfect for me because I've got tons of like knitting and crochet yarn primarily. Mm -hmm. And then I do have a um, vintage flat panel knitting machine. It's a, I'll have to do a video of it. It's again, it's in my stuff on the barge. So whenever it gets here, but um, I think it's from like the eighties or something. I got it um, off eBay years ago 
and it's just like one of those flatbed ones. And uh, it's a convertible knitting machine, which means you can use it with the small yarn and you can also push back half of the needles and use it with thicker yarn too. So it's kind of cool. Ooh. So it's considered convertible. You can tell I like multi-purpose stuff. <laughs> but. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get that I set up because I cat. have some ideas. Well, happy cat, your happiness is about to run out. I'm almost mm -hmm. to the end of this row. Hey, happy cat. I'm almost to the end of this side. Well, I finished one row. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Wicked Granny says, sounds good, and that's cool. Thank you. I think it's cool, too. <laughs> Whew, goodness gracious. And I have to go to bed tonight, too. <laughs> yeah, I need to get better sleep. Well, kind of going through an insomnia period. Between going to bed and getting better sleep. Yeah, that's true. I need uh, to get better sleep. <laughs> I need to actually be able to fall asleep. But... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I've got a, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so. I uh, gotcha. In the early in the morning? No. No, thank goodness. But oh, that's uh, good. <laughs> I, I still early morning. Sure I, get, I still have to make sure I get up and get my food, and you know, move it. Absolutely. Stuff. Your routine. So move it around. I mean, hi, Amy. Long to crochet. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, Amy. How you doing? <laughs> Andy's been making a bunch of like really cool amigurumis. Yeah. Uh, I saw, I think the last picture I saw of the stuff she's made is like, she made a bunch of really cute turtles. And I love turtles. So yeah, they're awesome. Amy makes great amigurumis. I'm sorry. That just doesn't interest me. <laughs> I'd rather pay somebody who enjoys doing it. Yes. I was actually so going to. I was wanting to, because she does such a good job on them, and I've never even tried. I was hoping I could commission a um, a pixie or a fairy out of her. <laughs> oh, I'd be willing to pay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you for the yarn her. and her time. Yeah, to her by email. Yeah, we're talking. Okay. She wants to just give it to me though, but I want to pay for it. <laughs> 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 and we're both stubborn, so. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on. I got a card. And Thanks to doing this rug, I'm really learning the stitch. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That, the connected double crochet. Yeah. I think it's uh, called linked. Uh, Linked, that's it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's the word you've used with me before, anyway. Yes, <laughs> linked. Think of it. I hear you. It's the same thing. Linked, connected. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Amy says, I fixed, I finished the, I don't know how to say that, but I know it's a fish. That's why I wasn't going to, yeah, because I know she said she was making another one. What is it? Ex ex Exoto is how it's spelled, like, but. Axola Tal, yeah, this morning. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce Pixie that. Pixie will yeah. not pay. Pixie will yeah. not capital. Hey, me. I want to wow. pay for wow. it. <laughs> you do such a great job, and I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pay for it. <laughs> it's Amy's so sweet. Her, you have to think of it as her way of helping you. Oh, uh, thank you. Of you have to think of it that way. Whoever gets, <laughs> whoever wins, both of you have to think about it that way. Yeah. <clears throat> Amy is a sweetheart. Come on. Oh, good grief. Well, I'm on row two for today. Three. Your fun time is just about run out, Kat. Either that or I have to pick up something <laughs> heavier. Axolotl. 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 Okay. Axolotl. Okay. 
something and maybe like that. Some? <laughs> she put it out how you should how we should say it. Okay. A X yeah, I can't do it. Dash, I know L O T dash L Axolato. Latel. Oh. Latel. Something like Axolotl. that. Axolotl. Okay. Got it. Thank One, you. Two, three, four. Uh oh. Get back here. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm trying to decide what kind of a uh, dragon I want to put on this. Like, if I want to go for more of a. Japanese style dragon? Do I want to go for a Chinese style dragon? Do I want to do more of a medieval looking one? You know how like there's different kinds? Yep. Like, because there's the kind that look more like a, like a lizard or a dinosaur. And then there's the kinds that look more like a serpent, you know? Yep. So I'm trying to like figure out what kind I want to put on here. I guess I'll look at pictures and then. Don't play with my yarn. Maybe combine both of them. <laughs> yeah, I know you were That'd watching it. I could feel it. I could feel your eyes watching the yarn move. <laughs> <laughs> I made her mad. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... Chris, Chris says kaleidoscope, says Chinese. Yeah, I like the Chinese ones a lot, especially since I'm using the red, you know? I think that right. would look good. I... Was kind of leaning towards that, so yeah, maybe I'll definitely do a Chinese. So, Amy, Amy says mine is the fun kind. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I guess she means yep. dragons. <laughs> yep. I'm assuming she means she's done a dragon or two. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure she has two. She pumps out those awesome amigurumis. I want to learn how to do the, uh, and I know Amy's made some amazing ones of these, but that uh, dragon scale stitch, you know what I'm talking about, in crochet? Yes. That was like little scales. Amy made some like amazing looking dragon scale bags. Uh, it's been a while ago that I remember her doing it, but like I have really, really want to learn how to do that stitch. <laughs> I love it. I am doing a, a mermaid tail with it. I just have to go oh, back cool. and tear out a bunch, and I don't think I'm ever going to get that thing done. But yeah, are you trying to make it like life size, like to go on you, or uh, to fit my daughter, who's way? Oh, to fit your daughter. Me. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty I big don't. project. I thought I had it. I thought I had it figured out, and I got. To a point where I said, oops, wait a minute, something's not right here. It's not going to be. <laughs> right. Not yeah. Long enough before the opening. Sometimes you just got to rip it out. And <laughs> I, I figured out how far back I needed to go back and then readjust the crocodile stitch. That's right. I mean, oh, dragon, okay. Dragon <laughs> I call it the dragon yes. stitch. Crocodile stitch. Yep. It makes yeah, I love that mermaid stitch. scales too. I bet. In fact, the last the last purse I saw, purse bag, shoulder bag kind of thing, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that used it called it the mermaid mermaid stitch. I guess there's like probably like a billion ways to call it. I'm going to call it the dragon scale stitch. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the mermaid scale, mermaid scale. I missed the word. Yeah, mermaid scale stitch. Yeah. And I was like, um, actually, that's crocodile, but <laughs> I could make something for Chad out of it too because he loves dragons. And in the Chinese horoscope, he is a dragon. <laughs> oh, okay. So it'd be cool if I could make him like his favorite color is purple. So if I use, and he wears a lot of black, of course. So if I made like some kind of purple and black that had sparkles in it or something right. and made like a cool bag that he could put like gaming dice in or something. Right. Right. Uh -huh. That'd be awesome. Um, Chris kaleidoscope says, make sure you get a lot of yarn pixie. Get a lot of yarn. <laughs> oh, it's a yarn eater. Yeah. Yarn. Yep. It is a I can see eater. that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It certainly is a yarn eater. Why does this look wrong? That makes sense. No, it's right. So stop thinking it's wrong, brain. <laughs> I used I used it to make a Christmas tree. Oh, I think I've seen that. Ooh. A Christmas tree made out of crocodile stitch. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that. That sounds amazing. Did you do it in like white or was it like red and green or? Christmas I want to know. On your Christmas tree. Inquiring minds want to know. Excuse Almost me. to the end of row two. <laughs> Getting them pumped out today. I also, like before I went to bed, I worked on my fairy uh, diamond painting a little bit. So yeah. I finished, I'm kind of a, um, some people do it a row at a time and I might have to do that on my really big ones that I haven't started yet. Uh -huh. um, but I wanted to knock out some of the smaller ones I have first. So I, I started this one. This one's kind of like a medium size because I have some that are smaller than that, but. Um, of course, the bigger you go, the better the picture looks because it looks right. It's the same principle as like picture resolution and pixels. So obviously, the bigger you go, the more resolution the picture is going to have, you know. Right, right. But um, hi, Sonia. I worked Chris's on it a little bit. Go okay. Chris's kaleidoscope. So says she made her Christmas tree with green with red bobbles. Ooh. So, oh, yeah, I, so it looks like hollies, like holly leaves right, with berries. Right. Oh, cute. Um, and Sonia said, oh, Sonia, I love to crochet, showed up. And I said, hi. Hey, Sonia. And, oh, hi, Susan. Peppermint Stitches is here. I hey, Susan. To send you a, I forgot to send her an email. Oops. Sorry, Oops. Susan. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Well, I was downstairs playing cards, and, and I'm like, I got to get upstairs, turn on the computer, get into the program, you know, mm -hmm. blah, 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 send out the link to the people who need it. And I completely forgot to send her an email. I try to before every live, but I don't always remember. That's a lot. She says, it's okay. <laughs> I get it. It's a lot just to get on camera, <laughs> let alone all the other stuff. Six. There we go. So anyway, with the diamond painting, uh, I tend to, some people do it a row or a section at a time, but I tend to be a color finisher, kind of like with cross stitch, I usually do that. Right. Um, so I've got the first two colors, there's like 22 colors, I believe, and I've got the first two colors done, and then last night I started the third color, and I got halfway up the canvas, so okay. I'm going to finish that one tonight. I'm excited about it. It's pretty. Okay, so let's see. Uh, hello, hello. Well, Rosemary shows up and she says, I'm better late <laughs> than never. Hey, everyone. See, I forgot, That's to, right. I forgot to let her know, too. Hey, Rosemary. Just go on. That's right. I'm, I'm <laughs> I know, sweetie. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi, Dawn. She said, Dawn says, Hi, Laura and Crafty Yarny friends. Hey, Dawn. How you doing? Your time says, I am for you. Why? Your time says, 1 a.m. for you. Why? <laughs> a.m. for you. Why? Um, I don't know. I it's don't almost know. six I here. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, interesting. Who says that? Chris says your time says 1 a.m. for you. Hmm. Why? Oh, and weird. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'm no, not no. sure. <laughs> um, let's see. Everybody's saying hi to each other. Peppermint Stitches says, Pixie, love the bookmark you did. Oh, thank you. And hello, sweet Dawn. And hi, hi. Okay. So I think I'm caught up now. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I am busy with Sunday chores and happy to see you. Thank you for asking, Pixie dear. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. I like Dawn. She seems like a sweetheart. Uh, 
I'm friends with Dawn on Facebook now. Awesome. I think we are too. If we're not, Dawn, <laughs> I'll come looking for you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think we are, though, <laughs> now that I remember. Hey, CAC, Okaki Angel Crafts, how are you? Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to read so you can understand part of what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, y'all. I just can't see the uh, chat tonight. So I'm not trying to ignore you. Okay, come on. Oh, not again. I keep getting what happened? stuck in that. Extra twist of yarn. Oh. Here we go. <clears throat> Yay. I reached the end of the row. <laughs> it's getting bigger. I wonder if it's halfway yet. I'm going to go grab my tape measure. <laughs> it's exciting. Yes, we are. Let's see, I knew better. I'm in central Illinois. <laughs> uh, yes, we are. I am trying to get all my YT friends on Facebook too. She so she says you are friends. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I was hoping we were. I think I remember you commenting now. Uh is that gonna stay? Yes. Hopefully. Yeah, I can't crochet now because the blanket <laughs> bent over and touched the cat and she looked up at me with giant eyes <laughs> and hissed at me. So I'm done. Oh. <laughs> you're right. You're done now. I'm, I'm done almost now. I can't even wrap her up in the I'm blanket. At, Ooh, that would really piss her off. <laughs> I'm at seventeen inches. One more inch and I'm halfway on the three foot rug. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. So, oh, goodness. yeah. Three feet is one yard, right? Three feet is one yard. 36 yeah. inches. Right. Cool. That should be plenty big enough. That's pretty big. <laughs> Plus, it's two feet wide, so it's going to be a good size road. Which means, which means <clears throat> wait a second. 18 is two is one and a half, right? Let's see, 12. Or is it 16? No, it's 18. I'm no, sorry. It, it, should, it should be 18. I'm adding and subtracting at the same time. So I was like, my math is so bad that no, I. is right. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, had to, I had to recheck, though, because I'm not saying I'm good at math. I don't do math <laughs> very well. Thank you for keeping me company. You're welcome, Dawn. <laughs> we do our best. Help Thank our you. Friends. <laughs> right. We got you, girl. <laughs> well, it's just 5.59. I think I must have bid you adieu. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think it's time. <laughs> Okay. This was fun. All right, everybody. <laughs> uh, don't forget to come and check me out at 2.45 on Tuesday for my Tuesday Yarn Talk. Oh, yeah. If you're definitely. available, I know people work and I don't. And that, that's okay. Um, and then uh, we'll be back here next Sunday at 8 p.m. Central. And uh, Sorry, that's 2.45 Central as well. I always forget to say that. <laughs> And um, have a great night. And have a great week. Hopefully, I'll see some of you on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. -bye. Bye, <laughs>